Your fantasy team, it sucks. Listen, I've been there. I am there in some leagues, but you know what? Just because you're 1-4 and four or 0-5, oh it doesn't mean your season's over. Well, unless you're the Cleveland Browns. Then you're done. No, I'm kidding. You know what? Gather around, guys. Everybody needs to hear this. Look, your season is not over. Don't give up. Hey, did the Patriots give up? When Drew Bledsoe went down in 2001, no, they got Tom Brady. Did Tom Brady give up? When he was down 23 in the Super Bowl, no, he went out and won that Super Bowl. And did Ryan Reynolds give up? When he bombed as the Green Lantern, no, he went out and created Deadpool. So don't give up. That's a huge thing. And realize, look, even though you're 1-4, you're 0-5 or whatever it is, you can get back into the race. The only thing is, you're not going to do it overnight. You're not going to do it in one week. You got to go out and build the picket fence one win at a time. You can do it. Let's work the waiver wire. Let's make a couple of trade offers. Nothing crazy. Don't give up the whole farm. Let's go out there and do the work. You can make this happen. Let's start with the waiver wire. Let's start with Auden Tate of the Cincinnati Bengals. Came out last week, six targets, three receptions, scored a touchdown. We were pretty high on him coming into the week, mostly because the Cincinnati Bengals offense is going to throw the ball an awful lot because that team is awful. But Zach Taylor has done a really nice job of making them at least offensively competent. At least they're fun to watch. I mean, you remember watching the Marvin Lewis teams, you'd be like, this is not a quality squad. But you know what? With Zach Taylor, at least they're losing in a fun way. That's something. And really, the Bengals need to look at divesting themselves of a lot of their big-name stars. A.J. Green should be traded once he becomes healthy. I would get rid of, I would keep Tyler Boyd, but I would look at the RB1 gone. Next year, you're going to be drafting a quarterback, so Andy Dalton's not going to be there. Just start Wilkins, like GL, all those guys, just start just start trading them all over the place. But you want to take a look at Auden Tate because that offense, again, they're going to be in so many deficits this season. The Bengals are always going to be in a throwing. So there's never going to be a game like the Colts played the other night where the Bengals are just constantly running the ball, trying to salt away a victory. No, no, no. They're going to be trailing a lot. They're going to be throwing a lot. Auden Tate is going to be one of the biggest beneficiaries. And, yes, you can finally drop John Ross. I know. Listen, pour one out for him. I love him too, but we cannot have him on our fantasy roster anymore. Let's talk about a couple of running backs. Edo Smith. You know what? It's becoming a damn near timeshare in Atlanta. A little bit frustrating. Look, Devonta Freeman was good last week, but Edo Smith is almost becoming a flexible option, which is crazy to me. The judge is coming through, but you know what? There's not a lot of opportunity. There's not a lot of guys on the waiver wire. I will say too, this week, going up against the Miami Dolphins, look and see if anybody has dropped Adrian Peterson. Somebody might have done it. He could be a pretty good option for you, especially in standard leagues, going up against that dog-ass Dolphins. See, I really don't know which defense I want to play. It seems smart that you would want to play the Washington team. But at the same time, like the Dolphins have pride too. So it's going to be tough. We'll be working through that one. But Adrian Peterson is definitely somebody we're – Worth looking at, along with Edo Smith. Chase Edmonds scored a touchdown last week for the Cardinals against the Cincinnati Bengals. Hey, look, it's not unusual for a Cardinal named Edmonds to go out there and torch a team from Cincinnati. Or at least I'm assuming so. I don't know. I don't know what Jim Edmonds did against the Cincinnati Reds back in the day. But we do know that David Johnson is battling a little bit of a back injury. That is not good, especially for anybody who used a first-round pick on David Johnson. That's disappointing. I don't I don't care for that at all. That that's one of my biggest draft regrets in my league of record. Like, oh yeah, David Johnson makes a lot of sense. If it's a standard league, it's even worse. Like, I don't want to get into it. I'm gonna have to pick up Chase Edmonds. If you don't have David Johnson, it's probably not as big of a deal for you. But still, if you're looking for some running back help, that's a guy you need to pick up, as well as Reggie Bonifun. You know who you know what's a lot of fun? Christian McCaffrey, but he came off the field last week because he had some cramps. Listen, when you play 90% of the snaps, or more than that, it seems, you're going to have to come off the field sometime, even though we don't want him to. And did he rob? Did Bonifun rob a touchdown? Sort of. 59-yard touchdown scamper. Everybody was out there. Everybody seemed very enthused about it. I wasn't, as somebody who has shares of Christian McCaffrey, all over the place, but whatever. I can't. I I can get greedy. That is exactly the point 
of fantasy football. A couple of tight ends. Gerald Everett had another fine game this week. Our own Taylor Bashotti on Fantasy League One picked up Gerald Everett. And I fought myself because I'm like, I wanted to say, like, I don't know about this. But first of all, the tight end position is dog s. There's not a lot of options. And I'm like, you know what? She studies this. She knows what she's doing. She went out there, made the call. She ended up beating the fantasy footballers as well. By the way, if I can throw out a quick plug, NFL Fantasy League One is available on the all-new NFL Fantasy app. So if you see the notification come up on your phone, and you're like, what's this? Watch it. It's a good show. Trust me, you'll like it. The producer's just sitting outside the window here. Give me the thumbs up. All right, I'm doing something right. All right, Chris Herndon also is going to return from his suspension. Adam Gase is like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to, I'm going to play him. I'm like, shut up, dude. You're going to play him. Chris Herndon, pick him up if he's available out there. A couple of quarterback streamers. Actually, I got one quarterback streamer for you. Gardner Minshew, still available in the ton of leagues. I don't get it. The schedule is starting to become a little bit easier, too, as we move forward. So I love that pickup. The Dallas Cowboys were a team that a lot of people might have dropped defensively last week because they were going up against the Green Bay Packers. Didn't want to start them against them. I know a lot of people go out there and they carry two defenses, which is frustrating because all those hipsters are like, oh, I never carried more than an extra defense. And, you know, I'm sitting there. You know, it's funny that you say that. And then I'm sitting there being like, am I really picking up the Washington Redskins this week? But that's where we are as a society. So... Let's get to it. Good luck to you on the waiver wire. I will be back later this week with some of my best and worst starts. We'll see you. Good luck.